If you've watched my review of the Soundbeats H1, you'll know that the QCC3040 chip already matches the best of the best performer this year, the Redmi AirDots S. But what I'm most curious is, will it be even better on Aptex Adaptive? As you know, they're advertising 50 to 80 milliseconds of end-to-end -end latency. Well, we'll find out the answer, so let's get into it. Selamat pagi! Good morning everyone, Kenneth here and today we're going to be comparing how Aptex Adaptive performs in terms of audio latency with the best of the best out there. We have the Redmi AirDots S on SBC as our record holder up until this moment and an AirPods Pro on AAC because it has a latency around 200 milliseconds with iPhones which is some of the best numbers that a gaming mode earbuds could get. And as usual, we're going to be testing in a real gaming scenario with which is PUBG Mobile on a Redmi K20 Pro as our test phone here. And I'll be taking everything into account, including the display latency. So you'll get a good picture of how this will perform in real life. And if you want to know how I count the latency numbers, I've made a detailed video about that. I'll put it right here. Now, as a disclaimer, the Soundpeats H1 here is sent to me free of charge and the rest of the earbuds are bought by myself. But rest assured, because you'll be getting my own honest opinion and I am not paid by anyone. So if you want to support the channel, please use the links in the description to buy stuff because I may get a small commission at no extra cost to you. All right, let's get started with the first one, the Redmi AirDots S and see how it performs with the Redmi K20 Pro. And I want to stress this one more time before starting. All the footages here are recorded fresh. I am not using any of my old recordings because I want to level the playing field between all the earbuds tested. Let's check it out right now. So we got straight to the gaming mode on results there and we can see that in Redmi K20 Pro the best it can do is 250 milliseconds. Now this is one of the reasons why if you have an Android phone you don't really have to buy the AirDots S because there are plenty others that performs similarly. A popular example is the QCY T5 or any earbuds with gaming mode basically. Now maybe it's in the chip or maybe it's in the OS but somehow iPhones has much lower Bluetooth audio latency than all the Androids that I've tested so far. Just check out my review of the AirDots S to know more. Though if you ask me, I can still play the game just fine up until 300 millisecond, then 400 millisecond is starting to get annoying. If you're wondering, usually what you see in a product description is 65 millisecond or 120 millisecond latency. What's the deal here that we can't ever get those numbers? Well, first of all, it could be that those are measured from when an audio signal is transferred and when it actually comes out of the chip. And with the equipment that I have right now, I I just cannot measure that specifically. And as I've said at the start, I'm taking everything from the touch display latency, the audio processing latency, and then finally, that audio signal gets transferred to the earbuds. These numbers add up, and in reality, the total numbers are what you actually experience when you game in real life. So if one earbuds have super low latency, like say a 50 millisecond one, but the phone still has a total of, let's say 150 milliseconds of latency, then in real life, you get a total of 200 millisecond. And that's what we're seeing right here. Anyway, I hope you understand a bit more of how these things work. Now, these numbers are gonna differ from phone to phone, but it's always good to pick the low lowest latency earbuds you can if you want to game. Let's move on to the next contender, the AirPods Pro running on AAC. All right, as we can see there, it has about 300 milliseconds of latency. Compare that to the results on my iPhone 10. 
the H1 chip inside could get as low as 200 millisecond. You can check that video right here. Now, it's nothing special. You just have to know that most earbuds usually perform at this level, around 350 to 400 millisecond. It's just normal. Okay, now finally, let's move on to the star of the show, the Soundbeats H1 and see how it performs with gaming mode off and then on. I hope you're excited because all I can say about the result is it's interesting. Just don't forget to give this video a thumbs up first. Okay, let's see the results right now. Yeah, yeah, I know, we're gonna talk about it. But first, I'll show you the screenshot of my developer settings. And you can see at the top that we're indeed using Aptex Adaptive. And at the bottom, the Bluetooth Audio Aptex Adaptive mode is set to low latency mode. But why is the number still around AirPods Pros? I don't know. In the iPhone, this is neck and neck with the Air Dots S, which is super impressive. Like this exact same earbuds got 150 millisecond in my years old iPhone 10. But why it got 350 here? Well, you may think that maybe this was a bad take, but no, I've done this like three whole times and I'll show you the clip where I try to measure the results. All I get is just the same thing. 317 milliseconds is the best it can do. And about the gaming mode, there is just no point in turning it on if it only improves a tiny bit like this. But at the bright side, the gaming mode off latency is already good. Fun fact, I usually take an accuracy of around plus minus 50 milliseconds, so the results here are actually within margin of error. But still, am I disappointed? Yeah. Absolutely. I've been hyping up Aptex Adaptive like it's gonna finally bring us to the realm below 100 milliseconds, but seems like we still got a ways to go there. And my conclusion is still the same. If you want to game with a true wireless earbuds, just get any cheap earbuds with gaming mode. And I recommend checking my must watch videos playlist right here if you are new to the channel. <sighs> well, well. What a conclusion. I hope this video could provide a more detailed overview of how the best of the best true wireless earbuds out there performs in terms of latency. But I stress again that these results includes the processing of the phone, which is Redmi K20 Pro and the earbuds latency into one. So you may or may not see similar numbers with your own phone. It could be better with a newer Snapdragon chips or if you use any iPhone, or it could be worse, especially if you don't have Bluetooth 5.0. Though I think this test method is sufficient because this is about what you'll be getting in real life. But again, it's just great to see that even an earbuds less than 20 bucks can perform better than way more expensive ones. Okay, that's pretty much it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please hit the thumbs up if you haven't subscribed and feel free to leave a comment down below if you've got more questions or any suggestions. I'll try my best to reply. And also you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I'm at NameKen to join me discuss about tech stuff that I encounter every day. So once again, thank you so much for watching. I am Kenneth and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.